Hi, this is Elton John. This is my Rocket Hour on Beats One Radio, and this week we have a special program. I have a special guest, Matthew Vaughan, who is the director of the new Kingsman movie, Kingsman the Golden Circle. Um, welcome. Hello. You're the first non-musician that I've had on the program, and I'm going to explain why, because I'm in the film. Um, not that I'm biased or anything, but uh, I was asked to be in the first Kingsman movie, Kings on the Secret Service, and I turned it down, and then I saw the film, and I thought, what an idiot. I should have been in this. And then Matthew kindly asked me to be in the new one. Uh, why was that, Matthew? To heal the wound of you not being in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, when I wrote the first Kingsman, I couldn't get you out of my mind and had all these images of, believe it or not, you fighting and doing karate. Yeah. And Which is I what I couldn't... do in the film. I play myself, and I'm captured by um, Julianne Moore, who plays this mad, mad um, uh, evil person called Poppy. It's got a great cast. It's got Colin Firth, who makes a comeback. Taron Edgerton, of course, who's Eggsy. Julianne Moore is the, is the villain. Channing Tatum. You've got Halle Berry. It sounds like we have too many cast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when uh, you list it like that, I'm like, wow. But it was great fun. And, and the, of course, music plays a big part mm. in the movie. Um, uh, huge part. And you, um, you actually play two of my songs in the movie. One is Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting. Mm -hmm. And the other, over the closing credits, is Jack Rabbit, which is an obscure track. Why on earth did you pick that? Uh, Jack Rabbit, I picked because the movie is about sort of a clash of American and English culture. And I really, when I heard Jack Rabbit, it sort of felt like an English country western song to me. I may be wrong saying that because yeah. I am a non-musician. Well, I am but... a bit of an Americana fan, so I um, mean, it's um, it, it's great to hear that song. I know it for so long. Anyway, it's fun. yeah, it's fun. It, it makes you smile, and that's the whole point of the movie. It's meant yeah. to make you smile. Oh, it does want... indeed. So um, it's got one of the best jokes I've heard for about ten years in the movie, and I'm not going to give it away. Um, why did you choose Saturday Nights All Right for Fighting? Well, it's a fantastic song. Um, it's incredibly cinematic, and it's got sort of three acts to it which means I can build the action to it and uh, to get to you when you when you sing Wednesday Night's Alright for yeah. Fighting I think it's a great gag to set yeah. it up so that when you hear it and it's all its glory yeah. and in the movie you know we used five different live versions and mixed them all together really? yeah which wow. was uh, bloody difficult to do uh, yeah. um, again it's, it's one of those musical well only music can do it can, it can be it's fun it's energetic it's great for action but it's also warm and feel good, no. so it does. It did everything that it made my film a hundred times better. So well, thank you so much. That's a great compliment. I haven't worked on the movie, and I haven't really worked on many movies. I did Tommy, yeah. and I did um, a little bit in the Spice Girls movie, and that's about it. I was really, really surprised because I was dreading the the hanging around and all that bit. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised how the crew was so energetic. Uh, you always use the same crew. Yeah, a lot of the guys, we've been working together for nearly 30 years. And yeah. I think that's, you become like a family and there's no airs or graces and everyone just mucks in and gets on with it. And I think it's important because... They lifted me up, I can tell yeah. you. They're, they're, the energy never sagged for me. And also, most of my scenes are, are really with Julianne Moore and Colin mm -hmm. Firth, who you know, aren't bad actor, uh, actors and uh, they really helped me a lot as well. The first film you directed was Layer Cake, which happens to be yeah. one of my most favourite movies of all time um, with oh. Daniel Craig. It was just a fantastic movie. Thank you. And uh, since then you've done Stardust, Kick-Ass, X-Men First Class, Kingsman Secret Service and the new Kingsman, uh, Golden Circle. How do you go about choosing the music for the movies? Gosh, it, it, dep it really depends on the mood I'm in because I, I, I can't write scripts without music. So I actually can't do anything. I can't run without music. I can't. I mean, music is my inspiration to life. Really? Yeah. I'm, it's a bit um, like myself. So, yeah. So weirdly, when I'm writing this, the scripts, I'm just listening to random tracks and something inspires me. Music takes the movie off the screen into your heart. Yeah. Okay. And therefore, so I pick them. They have to fit, and it has to give me the energy or the emotion I want. Yes. So your next thing, probably, uh, after all this, is to have a break, right? I'm actually writing a script at the moment. For what? For myself, just a yeah. little. It's an idea which I've always loved, and um, I hate flying. So the time I write more than anything, I put my headphones on, crank up the music, and I just, I've just i literally written scripts in 12 hours flying. Flying, to, uh, Flying, because yeah. I'm so scared that I just lose myself into the writing process and listening to music. When would you think about doing the next Kingsman script? Will you take a year to do it? I'm writing it already as well. You're writing it already? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And am I going to be in the next movie? 
would you like to be in it? I want to be a Kingsman. I want to be in one of those sharp suits. Uh, well, I have to yeah. say, in this movie, I, I play myself and I have to, I dress in my old ridiculous uh, costumes from the past because Poppy makes me um, and she's horrible to me. And um, I, I <laughs> it was so weird getting into those old clothes again. Um, but you say they're ridiculous. They're also beautiful. Yeah. I mean, they're really, when, when you put the costume on, it, it it didn't. I mean, it, look, it didn't look normal, but it looked great. David Bowie is a favourite of yours, and you've chosen a song which I'm sure is many people's favourite David Bowie song, "Starman" from 1972, and it was a late addition to the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. I saw that show, the first Ziggy Stardust show at the um, Finsbury Park Empire or Astoria, it was then, and it was Roxy Music with Brian Ferry, with oh. Eno with long hair and nail varnish and lipstick, playing first, and then. Uh, Ziggy Stardust. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. Um, it was just visually stunning, and you know the Spiders from Mars were a great band with Mick Ronson on guitar. Why did you choose this one? Basically, I wasn't. I was. It sounds crazy. I was really into Pet Shop Boys, but right. and uh, I had a huge argument with my mother, who was like, "This isn't music." I'm going. It really is, and I didn't realize back then that. Um, you're always on my mind was a cover. I thought they'd written right. that. Yeah. And my mother's like, I've had enough of this. Right. You need an education. Right. So we sat down and she and she's played me a lot of Bowie, like a lot of his albums. And I was like, oh, this is this is pretty yeah. incredible. And so I went into the whole Bowie thing and also into your music and, and I sort Did of you dress I grew like up. Him? Which stage? Um, I would say I tried not the Aladdin insane stage maybe, but did you? Gigi, no, I. I, I did well, you ever wear platform shoes, Matthew? I need to with my wife, but after Let's Dance, I did have a dodgy suit and rolled up the sleeves. Yeah. But, so, um, but um, I can tell you a funny story about Bowie. Right. All right. And this, my mother died. Sadly, so rest in peace. But, and I only put two and two together a couple of weeks ago. So I was, I was a big Bowie fan, and uh, I came down for breakfast one morning, and Bowie was in our kitchen. And I was wearing pajamas from M and S, really right. childish ones. And I was like, "What the hell is he doing in the kitchen?" Right. Right. And I only just figured out probably why he was yeah. having breakfast and not lunch. Sadly, with my mum. But um, so that I did meet Bowie once. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! And what would he? What was he wearing? Um, I actually can't bloody remember. Yeah. But he was he was <laughs> very nice shock. to me, and yeah. he, he did say nice pajamas, which uh, right. uh, so. Uh, well done, M&S. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Elton John. This is my Rocket Hour and Beats 1 radio. My special guest, Matthew Vaughan, the director of the new Kingsman film, uh, The Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Thank you for coming on the programme. It's fascinating to talk to you. Um, I yeah. hope I'm in the next Kingsman. I think the film is going to do so well. It's a fun roller coaster ride. Funny, ironic. And if you saw the first one, you're going to love this one even more. Matthew Vaughan has been my guest. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. And I can say on record, I've already written a scene for you in the next one. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>